Hey everyone, it's Ben at Lucille's Garden and today we're actually outside of the fenced in garden area in our brambles patch. So our brambles, we've got raspberries, blackberries, and a bunch of different types of cultivars. Each one is a little bit unique and there are certain activities for winter pruning that we're going to work on today to help uh, encourage better fruit development for next summer. So today we're going to start with our red raspberries. Uh, these are Rubus ideas, Boyne, B-O-Y-N-E. So they're a early summer bearing raspberry. <coughs> so a little bit about raspberry life cycle, the roots and the crown of the plant are perennial. However, the canes, which are the shoots that are coming out of the ground, are biannual. So after about two years, they will die off. And you'll get usually one year for establishment and then one year for fruiting, depending on the type of uh, plant that it is. So right now, what we're gonna be doing is really more maintenance um, and thinning than anything else. So we've got this pretty dense patch of established raspberries. And I'm just gonna start with my pruners of taking out the smaller canes, anything that's less than uh, about a quarter inch in diameter, uh, and anything that's shorter than about 30 inches in height is what we're gonna be going for. So for some of these right here, what we're gonna do is just prune the canes back to the ground. And what this will do is allow for the establishment of new growth. And it also is gonna, when the flowers and leaves fill out, it's gonna allow for better air circulation, which will really help with disease and pest problems that can be common to raspberries. And also wanting to make sure that there's enough space for light to penetrate into all parts of the plant. So right now, what we're doing is thinning for about six inches of space between our canes. And these are the smaller canes. So we're gonna remove them. And those we're just cutting right at the base, flush with the soil. Ooh, that one got me in the eye a little bit. And pulling those out, you can see this one has snapped. So actually we'll just take that one as well. Now this one is the main cane that we want to leave. Uh, it's pretty thick. It looks like it's doing well as far as life, but our one issue with it is we're gonna start getting that curve at the top and it's already kind of tangled in here. So when it starts doing this, we're gonna about where the curvature happens or two feet from the soil and we're just gonna cut. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two cuts. So one will just be a cut that is perpendicular to the cane of the raspberry and that's gonna be a flush cut. So the flush cut is basically a flat cut. Now for Pruning these, I like to do um, an angular cut like that. And the reason for is if it gets wet or if we get rain landing on here, it'll just run right off as opposed to potentially pooling and causing some rotten issues for us later on. And that is why we're going with an angular cut. There we go. And then we'll just keep on working through, pruning some of these back. Any signs of disease or um, any necrotic canes or dead canes that have died off from any winter damage or things like that. We also want to take those out too and see if there's a good, like here, this cane. It's starting to die off at the, at the tip of the cane, but because it's actually so thin, we'll just remove 
it entirely at the base. And then when you're done removing the canes, to make sure that you're not gonna allow for any diseases that might be on them to spread, we wanna just get these and take them pretty far away from our existing patch. Either um, the most traditional methods are actually just, just burn the canes, um, but we'll probably throw them in a compost. When this is all cleaned up, we would love it if you could come out and visit and then see the effects that good winter maintenance has on our berries' ability to be productive in the summertime. So it's all kind of adding to the life cycle of the plant of when we're managing it, what we're doing to get the best results for our fruit production.